Glory be to the godly witches for our life and our sweetness. Pastry cookie, I didn't expect to find you here past the retire bell. Reverend Mother, forgive me. I was just making up for missing today's morning prayer and I must have been too loud. My child, how can I punish you for praying? Tell me of your worries. Flower, 17-9. For where thine forks art sharp, thine tables art peaceful. A wielder of the sacred fork knows no sleep. I was merely honing my weapon and my mind. Ha! Such diligence is commendable, my child. Truly your soul of pure butter bears, not an iota of foul margarine. I am not worthy of such high praise. Indeed, but I bring most saddening news. Cake Monster Taint has nested within the sacred halls of the godly banquet. Are you talking about the miraculous cake tower? The holy grounds of the godly baking? I myself refuse to believe such outrageous rumors, yet things most sweet and delicate tend to turn foul the soonest. But if the rumors are true, such insults to the sacred cannot take place. Your wish is my command, Reverend Mother. I shall gladly purge the unclean. Yes, child, you will go with my blessing. Depart now, under the night's cover. You must find out what blasphemy has been allowed to happen. <gasps> the godly cake tower. An ancient holy place. It's as if the sky rested on its top. Just how tall is it? Dozens of candles. Intricate cutlery and decorations. This goblet, these forks and knives, everything is so gigantic. The gods must have feasted here for days. And that must be the first oven. Even though ancient and eaten by rust, it is still burning hot. Remember, nurture your fear and awe towards the oven, for these are ingrained in every cookie's dough. In this very place, the first cookies took their first steps. Yet now, this place is fouled with smoke and burnt butter, like an overbaked cake. Oh, divine witches, forgive me for trespassing these sacred grounds. In the name of the witches! Reverend Mother was right. There is something terrible going on here. And I will not tolerate the foul presence of the Defilers! Need the batter, my beasts. Need harder! And make sure not to stick to it! Keep the bonfires burning. Throw in more wood. Let the flames burn the very sky! The time has come. Pull out the tray! Welcome, your new brethren. Working hard as always, Red Velvet Cookie. Now isn't that a surprise? Pomegranate Cookie in the dough. Did Dark Enchantress Cookie send you to watch over the preparations? Is she still reluctant to come in person? Don't you dare question the Master's ways. No matter the reason, my presence here will foster our progress. Tell me, have you made any progress? <laughs> our numbers are increasing by the day, with or without your pestering. See for yourself, twice as many soldiers in but a moon. Twice? Hmm... Perhaps I was too optimistic to hope you were capable enough to increase our forces tenfold. Ha! Spill your poison as much as you want. There are limits to what I can achieve in current circumstances. The oven is eaten by rust and the batter is too stale. Most of the newborn cakes don't make it. This tower is the sacred ground of baking. 
all that is needed can be found here. Solve the problem, no matter what it takes. Easier said than done. Whoa. What? I see. Looks like we have an uninvited guest. I will get rid of this nuisance. And I'll be waiting. Oh, and try to come back before my tea goes cold. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Foul creatures, I release you from your sweet temptations. Be gone! There's no end to them. It pains me to see a holy place stained by fallen deserts. Ah, and so the little nosy gnat has shown herself. How typical of a gnat to be attracted to sweet things. A cookie? With an arm of a cake monster? Hmm, did Pomegranate Cookie say to crumble the intruder? Was there such a command? You there, do you wish to work for me? I can be merciful enough to pardon your foolish intrusion. What is this nonsense? Ha! Huh. Do not say I didn't try to be diplomatic. We provide accommodations and let you sleep in. And you, little nosy gnat, look like you could use both. <laughs> you! Are you a cookie? Or a cake monster? Was it you? who reduced this holy shrine to this? What you see is what you see. Nothing more, nothing less. Ah, uh, can you hear these sounds? That is the cake factory working day and night. How dare you! I am Pastry Cook, a devotee sworn to preserve the order of this world. And in the name of the Saint Pastry Order, I shall purge you and your foul creations! Ha! Such bold words! Do your worst! Crossbow loaded. I will not miss. Book of Salt 3-2, may thy will guide the fork of your humble servant! Gah! Gah! Uh, you! What did you do to me? I can't move! A doing of my fork of judgment. Fallen creatures like you cannot resist it. It is said that this weapon cannot hurt an innocent being. A consecrated weapon, forged to be used in the praise of the godly. Huh. So this fork of yours alone decides who to crumble or let live? Such laughable self-righteousness. The same ingredients and oven were used to bake the two kin, cakes and cookies. By a mere coincidence, the former couldn't gain consciousness like you did. Neither you, nor the witches, no one is in the right to take their lives, simply because they are different. You dare to utter the name of the godly! Are you afraid and hurt? Rejoice! For I am about to release you of your shame! I shall reduce you to crumbs! Chiffon, my dear Chiffon, everything's all right. <gasps> Go on, shoot! Last words? Why the delay? Ah, oh, that's right. You see a cookie in me. But I have no need for your sympathy. I am no different from those beasts you crushed. I was born within this tower's walls. This tower? The godly... Created you this way? Only the half. Coincidence would be my other creator. I began wondering what was taking you so long. My tea became as cold as ice. Red velvet cookie. How could you allow this puny being to bring you down on your knees? <laughs> Spare me of your pathetic nagging. A cake monster cookie? And a heretic? I'm losing time. The taint of the darkness was even deeper than I feared. Yes, that is correct. Welcome 
to the Temple of the Shadow. The Cake Tower. What is this place? That giant mold. It looks just like a cookie. Fine flour. That enormous sack is filled with it. All kinds of cookie-making tools. Is this... the sacred godly pantry? There's no other place in the world as sacred as this one! I cannot allow you to continue! Foolish! Clearly, the true significance of this place is beyond your comprehension. This is the very place where our great master, Dark Enchantress Cookie, was reborn. The first and last place where a cookie has surpassed her creators. The witches. Red Velvet Cookie too was created here. I will hear no more of this blasphemy! Do not insult this miraculous shrine with your filthy lies! Do not test her patience, Crimson Priestess. That puny being's crossbow can become your undoing. Oh, is that so? Then let us see her battling her worst enemy. Herself! What? Ah! My consecrated crossbow senses an enemy in you, sister. Your soul is ridden with doubt. Is the path you have chosen truly yours? No, don't come near me! Book of Butter, 917. Thou I... I shall... Resist! Ah! She fell into the ultimate dough. She's... sinking? The millennia-old ultimate dough. But it should be hardened. Stale! Mirror! Reveal the truth! Red Velvet... What? Ah, ah! My consecrated crossbow senses an enemy in you, sister. I... But... I fell into the dough? Where... Where am I? The banquet is starting. My... Voice? The Night of the Witches. Held once in a thousand years. This is my only chance. The Banquet of Gods? No, no, no! It's a sight no cookie is allowed to witness! I must wake up from this dream at once! I shall meet the Creators. The Witches. I must ask the question. I will ask them why. Why they created the cookies. And myself. I must learn the truth. Look at these! They look amazing! Y'all been working hard! Phew! I baked a ton of cookies. Here, try one. You're gonna love it! Impossible! The witches... Our creators... Are eating cookies! Wake up! Please! We have to run! You can't stay here! Listen to me! We must escape! But why? Why? Why are you smiling at me? I must... I must tell someone about it! <laughs> Why did you do that? Witches... The witches deceived us! The cookies... were created to... be eaten! But I was born... and lived! I have my will and consciousness! I can't... accept this fate! Ooh, whose cookie is that? Look, it fell into the ultimate dome! Tis alright! Let's just bake it and see what happens! Yes! Let's bake it! Let's see what for 
Fortuna has in store. <laughs> <laughs> Who could have known it was so simple? Now I understand. The witches were wrong. I refuse this so-called destiny. She's changed? I was reborn against anyone's will. A new body. How refreshing. From now on, you may call me Dark Enchantress Cookie. And you witches will learn to fear me. <laughs> but where are you going so soon? You left your cake in the oven. Arise, forsaken desserts. Reject your pitiful fates, like I have rejected mine. Oh, Divine Ones, this can't be true. The world divided into those who eat and those to be eaten will burn. Heed me, desserts. It is time to unleash hell onto the witches. Stop! They will destroy the world's order! <laughs> Dark Enchantress? C Cookie? I hear you, child. Poor thing. Have you lost your arm? There, there. I have a gift for you. I believe this will serve you well. This arm will connect you with your brethren. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. That cupboard holds the ultimate recipe. And you are about to witness what it is capable of. Follow me, child. I will show you a better world. To see. Ah, enough. How fortunate to witness our master's magnificent past. You look shocked. The truth is very different from the teachings of your order, is it not? I understand now. This tower is not the sacred birthplace of cookies. This is the place where a cookie who dared to deny the godly saw her terrible end. And? <laughs> oh, but that was only the beginning. Tell me, foolish one, do you still think your godly are great and glorious? <laughs> what are you planning to do to this world? Rebuild it. Rebuild it for the despaired and fallen? Yes, you are right. Those who you call monsters also desire for a world to live in. And when you meet your godly creators, ask them. Ask them about your precious order that decrees pretty cookies to live and forsaken burnt cakes to be slain! <sighs> Glorious Cake Legion, your time has come! I must leave this place! My child, you are back so soon. Reverend Mother, tell me of your findings. I saw the taint and corruption afflicting the cake tower, and I couldn't do anything. I repent. In that place, I saw an numerous horde of cake monsters. You taught me that they deserve only the final judgment, but the monsters could talk and, and had feelings, just like us. Moreover, a dreadful glimpse of the witches was revealed to me. The godly creators ate cookies like us. 
I... I can't get myself to pray anymore. Even a holy fork cannot help me against these memories. Oh, poor child. My dear, a true believer will always face a moment of doubt, but wisdom will help you overcome of such incidents. It may be difficult, but time indeed can heal the worst wounds on our souls. Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, I must remind you, sometimes secrets must remain unspoken for the order of this world. You understand me, yes? Yes, Mother. Oh, such an obedient child. A secret between you and me. Yes. Forever. Hmm. Is that all? You are too merciful. Command me, and I will silence her forever. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. Pastry Cookie is a very loyal student. One day, she too will become a stalwart protector of our secrets. Just like each of us. Hmm. Until then, we shall guard the secrets of the tower. <laughs>